10 plus either Dragapult or Amoongus. Um, they have a Lumberry King Gambit, which is very good to know. Hmm. I think my Citizen Snips looks really good here. And we can bring... What? Like, big old G-Rav. Um, I think the g -Raf is important for countering certain parts of their team. <clears throat> and then... If we get rid of certain things, Dragapult's also really good. But so is... Um, Garganical, actually. <laughs> In fact, Garganical looks really good here. If we don't get in a bad spot with Gardevoir and we get off a um, we get off a uh, body pr uh, iron defense or two. But actually, I think this is going to be really good because they do start what I was obviously expecting them to start. So we switch into this, and we just click, um, let's switch. into this, which is really risky. No, I, I don't think we can do that. I think we have to switch into this and prove here. What did I just switch out? Oh, no, I knew what it was. Um, so they have a Fairy Terry, which I get. I don't really think it helps them right now. <coughs> Jesus, man. Unfortunately, I think my play has to be to switch out into the big old g -Rap and to try to That's such a good play. Okay, so we basically just foddered. But we should get the one shot here. No, that's unfortunate. Um, we can bring in Palafin. And we basically don't have a choice except to, I would say, jet punch here and to do this. We kill King Gambit, which is nice. We can't really carry Star right now.
I mean, I guess we can we bring out a Mingus. I think what we have to try to do, which I doubt is going to work, is we Terra Style. We... I mean, because they should Rage Powder here, right? Like, um... I don't think T-Tar is putting on pressure though, so what I want to do is Jet Punch here and Kowtow Creep here. Do I have... who do I have in the back? Because maybe I could have switched out. Yeah, they are going to be there. That could lose us the game. So this is a three shot, which is really nice. They don't get a KO. Unfortunately, depending on how much damage the Sandstorm does, the Sandstorm actually goes away, which is big. So we need to see what they have in the back. Guard of Hour, okay. So what does, how does what I have deal with that? Um... I think we need to jet punch guard of our I think we just double up guard of our No, I just lost. Um I needed to sucker punch. Okay, it's okay. Big damage. They actually missed the, the cleave. Okay. That's pretty bad for them. Um, I'm really happy that Palafin was able to pick that up because I just, I, did, I didn't see it. Um, and there was a very possible way for me to lose, so. <coughs> Round six of the Nino Poke Bros Tour. Jeez. And uh, I almost accidentally claimed a win on this prematurely because I hit the wrong button. But fortunately, there is a way to undo it. <laughs> so we got the judge to clear it. And I do think our opponent has a really scary team. And we're going to have to really think this one through. So, they do have Sucker Punch, King Gambit, they have Trick Room, I don't want Trick Room that much. They have Fake Out, Wide Guard, what is Headlong Rush? I've never heard of that before. Um, let's lead Farigarath and our King Gambit maybe. Could be Palafin with Amoongus and then it's either just Citizen Snips or Garganical. I think both have merit.
I think Citizen Snips almost always needs to dynamo or Terra style. But I think it's a better bet at this point than Garganical, so. Why would you just HF me? Like, just GLHF me. <laughs> Yeah, I don't respect this person. I mean, just because of like their cards and all that. Like, don't be rude, my guy. Did you start Haryama Armor Armor of the Tiger Um. Yeah, so we actually should be faster than them. So let's. Psychic and let's flip turn. Yeah. That's really well played. I wish I had clicked Trick Room. Um, and they are going to do that. They have Grass Sprite. So I think this will be harder because we didn't click Hyper Voice. Um... I think we can like bring in the snips. This could be really bad. Okay. So let's. We actually, I think, have to tear stall this. Like trick room. And protect. There's no guarantees here, but if we can get rid of Armor Rogue, I think we should be able to win. Right, okay, so they do make the right. That's disgusting. So I think we lose. No, because, okay, good. At this point, we should probably hyper voice. remember the way that this goes so like I have sucker punch right like you literally have a move called sucker punch. Like, <laughs> so I think there's a, a pretty big chance that this goes poorly but we're going to see a really good damage They do actually knock themselves out, which is huge.
which puts us in the position to bring in Amicus. So I think we have to possibly just click Rage Powder. Hold on, let me check the trick on turns. I'm going to Rage Powder this turn and Jet Punch. That should put us in a better position. That's really good. Cause, like... What does Vaporeon do against me is the question. Especially when we know we can score here right now. And Jet Punch. Feels good to beat someone who did not GLHF me. But I think this should always win us the game. Sucker Punch, and Jet Punch. We click like Haze or something? Or no, we just go first. Let's click Sucker Punch. Swap back in Among Us.
crazy. So now we sucker punch again and we spore. Yep. I actually think if we kowtow cleave and we um, just spore. Should be still fine. Um, I'm gonna go for the cow top the I'm gonna go for this one. And Moongus avoids. That could lose us the game, but we don't miss. Okay. GG's. I mean, like, no offense to this person, but, like, you gotta say G-L-H-F. They said just H-F. Like, come on, man. I, like, I get it that I accidentally reported it as a win the first time, but, like, and, like, and, like, their card, and, and it all goes together. Just, like, the, I can only imagine the type of person they are. Like, you know what I mean? So, GG's. But no offense to them as well, like, I guess. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Round seven with uh, the, the Nino Poke Bros tour. Is is it in the game? Is is it is it a version exclusive? I didn't think Rhymer was in the game. Um Okay, so for some reason I was thinking big old giraffe and dragapult would be a good lead with um let's see what they have item wise they have citrus berry fire sara ledge or I mean grass sara ledge. Again, I think Garganical can be really good here, but it's not, like, guaranteed at all. Um, I think Citizen Snips has a lot going for it if we're in the right positions. And it's really only bad against, like, one thing. <laughs> okay. I don't feel good about this. Um, I think... This is basically the composition. This is basically the composition that we struggled against last time. Um, so we have to do this. We have to trick room. And we hard swap key game. They have like a banded meow scrub or something, so they're 
we're gonna click knock off or something. Yeah. Can trick me. Okay. So I feel okay about this. I want a dazzling gleam and iron head here. I think that's smart. Let's switch into a Moongus and let's do this. That's not good. I do have protect. Okay. So what can I have in the back? Yep, sandwich. Just scary. Um, because they haven't terra styled yet. So, um, I want to switch out into the G Rap, and I want to go for a Caltel thing. I'm expecting them to protect, possibly, but if they don't, then I should have scored them. Okay, so I actually think I probably should have scored Rotom, but what I'm expecting is a protect and a potential... No, that's just a good play all around. I think they still should protect Rotom. Yeah. So I think they're playing really well. Um, and they're not leaving us a lot of options. So I mean, we can hyper voice. I think what I want to do is actually... Hold on, let me count the trick. Okay, yeah, yeah, so... Let's switch into Dragapult. And... Let's... So I'm interested in how this is going to play out. Um, they go for the Thunderbolt. I think this is just a really well constructed team. And it's not exactly leaving us that many options. Because um, what we can do right now is we basically just bring in the Giraffe. Bring in the giraffe, we phantom force, and we just go for trick room again. So they should go for, um, okay, interesting. They should go for bitter blade right here. Yes, so that'll probably lose us the game. 
um, very cool team from our opponent. He said Grimer is not big in the I have never seen one. But it does seem that we kind of struggle against this. Yeah, the Will-O-Wisp Rotom was really good for them. Um, they had just so many ways to, like, damper my damage output, which I think went really far for them. So, extremely well played. And we will probably, I mean, I'm not going to forfeit, I guess, but I should. Okay, bit next time. Yeah, GG's. <coughs> Muck and Grimer. Did not know they were in the game. So yeah, massive GG's. I think if we had leaned into Garganical and got rid of the Rotom, that could have been a big deal. So we would have needed Garganical plus Amoongus on the field in Trick Room so that we could pressure the Rotom into not doing anything, and then we could score it, right? Very well played. All right, y'all. Round six. Or I mean, sorry, round eight <laughs> is going to be for all the marbles since we lost that last one, and unfortunately, our opponent's team this time does not look that much easier. So they have Rotom Heat, Meowskarada, uh, Azumarill, Goldango, Mousehold, and Annihilate. So I have some ideas but I don't think I have any guarantees, which is the problem. So their team, if we look at it again, is Mousehold, Masquerada, Rotom, Goldango, uh, Annihilate, and Azumarill. So this is also our most difficult opponent yet because this is Juan Fi, who is definitely like well known. I want to either start Dragapult Amoongus or Dragapult. Giraffe, and the reason why I think maybe Dragable Giraffe is well, I think Amoongus could be really good as well. Um, it brings Snips in the back and Palafin. No, we would kind of like have to bring the Giraffe. So I'm kind of like, I'm really gambling here. I'm basically trying to say like, that they're not going to lead what I would expect them to lead. Okay, so that's good. It's 
Let's click Dragon Dance. And let's click. So they actually did do what I wanted them to do, which is not leave me Asperata. So what can I do here? Cause like... I don't exactly expect the draft to live a hit. Like... I could... Dragon darts... And just go straight for the trick room. Now we basically have to rely on our ability to win this with Ferrigarath and whatever we brought in the back. here. I think we have to always try to do this. I actually think we didn't need to Terra style here. So I think Terra Styling didn't make sense because they do have a, like a Rotom, right? So that's actually kind of bad. Yeah, Terra Styling was a really bad idea. this if we don't get this KO and I'm not feeling too like confident. Yeah, okay, so that's good though. So our defensive Terra worked. I still don't know if we're in a winning position though. Like, they have to have not brought Rotom, and they did yeah, they brought Rotom. So... 
I think we need a hyper voice last turn if we wanted to make sure we win this. We have to kowtow cleave and we have to hyper voice. We might even potentially... Yeah, that's what we have to do. Yeah, I needed to hyper voice last turn. We should lose. Um... Because this is a tall order for... It's not impossible, but it is a really tall order. Actually, that's a misplay, so we might win this. It depends how much Trick Room is left. Goldango. Okay, so we can win this. We have to cleave. And we have to... Psychic. I think that wins us the game. There's no way out of this for them. So we sucker punch and we psychic. But I think we should do enough with this Psychic. Yes! That should be top cut. I mean, the, the crit's really unfortunate for them, but I, I we had the plus one. Like. Because what I actually could have done is I could have clicked um, Sucker Punch Trick Room on the next turn in order to guarantee the win. So, sorry, I turned off the camera, but I was just saying, like, honestly, that's a really, really good feeling. Like, um, after, after dropping that last game and then seeing that this team was extremely scary, I think we did really well. Um, he obviously did not bring me Alscarada, which was the one thing I was really scared of. Um, and I think that kind of speaks to a potential weakness of the team. But, yeah, massive GG's. And I'm really hoping that we top cut, because no matter what, like, that would just be a good feeling. <laughs>